Hi friends, Mickey Mankus here and welcome to Out the Back Door. Today I am going to be canning up some Georgia Fuzzy Peaches. So join me. Well, I went and I grabbed my last jar, actually quart jar of peaches um, from the pantry and it was from September 2013. Um, yes, I went a little gung-ho that year when I was doing peaches, and I ended up buying four lugs of peaches and canned those up. I tell you what, after about the eighth or ninth case, I was really getting tired of doing it, and I learned my lesson not to do so many at the same time anymore. But anyway, that last jar was delicious. We opened it up last night and had a snack with some cottage cheese, and the color's beautiful and everything. Um, I'll show you pictures of it here. So. There you go. Okay, the one thing that um, I do like is I look for our local Youth for Christ does a peach fundraiser to help them raise money. Normally we get Colorado peaches, but they got an earlier shipment and they're from Georgia. I did live in Georgia for a tiny short bit and I really did like their peaches there. So it was like, yep, I'm gonna buy them. All right, so, but when I did get them, they were still hard. So I had to wait probably five days now to get them to the point where I'm ready to can them up. So let's get to it. The first thing that we're gonna have to do is we need to remove the skins from those peaches. And so I've got a pot of hot water here. Um, I've got the flame on high and I'm trying to bring it up to a boil. What I'm gonna be doing is putting maybe four to five peaches in there at a time and we're gonna leave them in there for one minute. This is gonna help loosen those skins. But as soon as that one minute is up, I'm actually gonna be filling this up with ice cold water. I'm gonna take those peaches out and plunge them into the water to stop the cooking process. This is gonna help me peel these off really easy. In fact, some of them may just slide right off. We'll see what happens a little bit later. But that's gonna be the first process we need to do for canning peaches is get those peels off. All right, I've got um, all the peaches in the cold water so that they'd stop cooking. Um, I've also got a bowl full of cold water here. I'm going to be adding citric acid to it because when I cut up my peaches, I'm gonna place them in the water here. The citric acid will help so that they don't turn brown. Uh, it's probably about a teaspoon's worth. You don't need a whole lot. You can put lemon juice in it instead if you want. Um, I'd say just put a few tablespoons in there. So anyway, what I'm gonna be starting with, the peels should come off really easy. Now I have had them come off easier than this, but I've also had a harder time and ended up using um, a vegetable peeler. But you can see they're, they're peeling pretty well. All right, and once I've got it all peeled, you'll notice there's kind of like a, a crack. There's a seam in the peach, and that's generally where I follow. I'll start at the top here where the stem would have been, and I just slice down and rotate my peach in my hand. And then all I have to do is turn the two halves opposite directions. Maybe, there we go. And it comes apart easily. And I'm just gonna pull out the pit. Okay. Then, I mean, I could leave these in half sizes like this. If you want to do quarts, that's totally fine. I actually put a lot of halves and quarters into my quart jars, but today I'm only going to be doing pint-sized jars. So I want to cut these up into a little bit smaller pieces like this, slices, so that they're going to fit down into my jar better. And I'm just going to toss those into my water with uh, citric acid in it. And I need to get peeling. So when I get them all done, we'll get to the next step. I want to show you an easier way um, 
of peeling these and getting them apart. Okay, before I was always peeling them and then I'd cut them and try to twist them off and my hands are all slippery. Leave your peel on first. Cut down through the middle, twist. I'm gonna take the, the pit came apart in this one. So I'm gonna dig it out quickly. There we go. But, <laughs> why I didn't do this before? I don't know. Now that they're cut apart, the skin, the peel, comes off in one piece. Yeah, slick. I suppose most of you are going like, I knew that. <laughs> But anyway, okay. And I have found if you're peeling from the bottom, the tip end, and working your way up to the um, where the stem would have been, it was a lot easier. All right. I had done a couple like this already, and I'm thinking, oh, I need to show this to you. And now this one didn't want to really do it. But So now by grabbing at the very bottom here at the tip, I just kind of push the peel back. And it came off in one piece. Isn't that great? Okay. Now just cut them up. I'm doing these in quarters. So it would be an eighth slice of a whole peach. It took me a while to get all the skins off and sliced. But we're finally at that point. While I was doing this, I made sure that my hot water bath canner was coming up to temperature. And then also I made a simple syrup that I'm going to be adding to this. Now you can put plain water if you want. That's not a big deal. What I ended up using was 12 cups of water and two cups of pure cane sugar. That was it. So this is the simple syrup. I always do a light one when I pour it over my fruit, but I do like that little bit extra flavor. Say in the juice, you get the fruit flavor mixed in with that juice and it's kind of tasty but anyway so all right i'm gonna leave that on the heat while i'm filling these up and all i'm doing is using a slotted spoon and i'm going to start filling my jars now i'm thinking i may have extra and that's fine by me because i was going to put some in the freezer so that I could use for um, frozen yogurt. And we want to leave about a half inch headspace. Being I'm using the Tatler lids, I may go a little bit more than that. Usually I only do that with my meat, but for some reason I'm just thinking, hmm, get closer to the, you know, three quarter inch mark. All right, I can come back and add a little bit more if needed. All right, I've got all the jars filled. I am going to be pouring my simple syrup in. And like I said, a half inch head space. And remember, we are going to debubble. And so the peaches may settle a little bit. And if you need to add a little bit more, that's fine. I do have my Tatler lids on the burner right now um, heating up because I need those scalded. And as I mentioned earlier, um, this is a simple syrup. You're welcome to um, put just plain water in if you want. You can also make a heavy syrup if you'd like. And generally for a heavy syrup, I would say eight cups of water and three to four cups of sugar. That's gonna give you a heavy syrup. Well, I had 12 cups of water and two cups of sugar. You're also welcome to use um, a different type of a sweetener, say honey, stevia, anything like that. We wanna make sure that our peaches are covered underneath our syrup or our water. It isn't that they won't seal, but I did notice that the ones on the top, if they weren't covered, did start discoloring a little bit during the process. Let's see if I can do this without burning myself. This is a little way I get things to settle besides um, doing the debubbling.
I do this all the time with my um, green beans. And I may have them down tight enough already. I need to add a little more of the syrup to these and then I'll start getting the tops on. You know, I really enjoy um, mixing the canned peaches in with cottage cheese or my homemade yogurt. Um, it's also good as far as making like a peach crumble cake, something on that order. Uh, peach pie, you've got your peaches all ready to go for any type of a dessert that you'd like. Um, it's also good like on pork chops. Okay, bands are on and everything. I'm gonna get these into the canner. If you're doing pines, you wanna uh, process this for 20 minutes, and if you're doing quartz, you go for 25 minutes. So I'm gonna get these in the canner, and then I'll show you when I take them out. There we go. Got them all out of the canner, and now I'll let them sit and cool. Um, I will bring them into the house later on this evening after they've settled down some more, being I just took them out now. I don't want to really move them. Uh, and then so tomorrow morning, I will take all the bands off and make sure they're all sealed and wash them up and label them and get them in the pantry. Now, can't get much easier than this. It's a little time consuming as far as taking care of the peaches, but you know what? Invite a friend over to come and join help you do this. And that way you can spend time together visiting and everything and the work will go a little bit faster and you won't even realize it. So yeah, I'm glad you joined me today. Thank you so much. And if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing, hit that notification bell and give me a thumbs up and share. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below because I would like to hear from you. So until next time, you have a wonderful day. God bless. And if you start at the very bottom of the peach, the tip end, not where the stem was, just start pulling and it should come off pretty easy and it doesn't want to do it. <laughs> as soon as I get off of camera, it works slick. <laughs>